It's now time to take a deep dive into current films. And producer Charlie is here with everything you need to know. So what's up first? Okay, so first up, we have this a new R-rated thriller, okay. action thriller, called Monkey Man. Monkey Man. So this has been called the John Wick of in Mumbai, basically. Oh, okay. Very good. So it's about an anonymous young man, played by Dev Patel, who unleashes a campaign of vengeance against the corrupt leaders who murdered his mother and continue to systematically victimize the poor and powerless. So a very light movie. Yeah, yeah, very light. No, but it is very good. This is de uh, Dev's directorial debut. He also co-produced and co-wrote this movie. Mm, okay. So kind of, I would almost consider it probably a little passion project of his. Okay. Um, it, he just, uh, sorry. <laughs> In his work on the film, he described it as saying, I think the action genre has sometimes been abused by the system. I wanted to give it real soul, real trauma, and real pain. And I wanted to infuse it with a little bit of culture. Okay. And you really do get to see kind of, learn about some of the Indian culture. Yeah. Um, it, was, it is very unique, very, very interesting to see. Cause you know, mm -hmm. I feel like most, a lot of movies don't take place in India. Sure. You know, um, this was supposed to actually be shot in India in 2020 and was almost canceled due to the pandemic happening. Mm. So, but it ended up being shot on a small Indonesian island. Um, during the first action scene being shot, Patel actually broke his hand. Oh shoot, that quick mm -hmm. into filming, right? wow. So, um, and originally the, the rights to this movie were bought by Netflix. But then later on, they were got, became a little concerned about how their Indian viewers would uh, react to the film's political commentary and uh, discrimination. Mm. So uh, they kind of dumped out of it, didn't want to have to do anything with it. And then Jordan Peele became a producer on it. And he got the Universal Pictures to acquire the film rights from Netflix. Mm. And they only had to pay 10 million for it. So not too much, really. Because I think million. Netflix paid 30 million. Originally, 30 million? I believe that's what it was. Oh my gosh. Money um, numbers with movies just blow my mind every right. time. Right. Yeah. Um, Patel uh, spoke about Peel picking up. He said mm -hmm. he took us from this thing that was brushed under the carpet to putting us on top of the mantelpiece. Mm. And this has been kind of a buildup uh, coming to the movie before it came out. Yeah. Um, its budget was $10.1 million. So far in its opening weekend, it's made 12.7. Very cool. So, yeah. It's a good one. If you're looking for a good action one, I would say if you like John Wick, you'll, pro you'll yeah. probably definitely like. Yeah. What else you got? One. So, next up, we have Wicked Little Letters. Wicked so Little Letters. This is okay. an R rated British black comedy mystery. Based on a true scandal, it follows an investigation into the anonymous author of numerous crude, insulting letters sent to residents of a seaside town, Little Hampton. Okay. This I quite enjoyed this movie. It stars Olivia Coleman as Who Edith. Is one of my favorites on the ever. right. Yeah. She plays a conservative local, and then Jesse Buckley plays Rose, a rowdy Irish migrant. Okay. So uh, I honestly really liked it. Very fun. It is very uh, vulgar. Okay. In language-wise, though, so not family friendly. don't take the kids. Yeah. Don't yep. take the Leave kids. Them at home. <laughs> um, in September, this premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. Okay. So it was released in the UK in February, and then it had its release here in the US this weekend. Wow. So so far, it's opened 1.6 million world, uh, domestically, but 16 million worldwide with a budget of 12.6. That's incredible, and that's just opening weekend. So right. So better. honestly, I would suggest this one. Yeah. For the I feel parents. like I need to go check this one out because I'm such a fan of Olivia. Definitely. Yeah. I love her. She plays kind of a a more quiet, yeah. you know, little uh, sweet and innocent yeah. character in this one. But she's so versatile. Like, we've oh, seen her in so many different absolutely. amazing roles. So that's incredible. Yeah. All right, what so else? So moving on, we have The First Omen. This is a prequel to the um, the Omen franchise. Mm. So this is an R-rated supernatural horror um, about a young American woman played by uh, Nell Tigerfree. Very interesting name. Never yeah. heard of that one. Who is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the church, but encounters a darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of an evil incarnate. Oh. So this is the sixth film in the franchise. I had not seen any of the Omen movies going into this. Mm -hmm. So, but since it was a prequel, I was like, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, you don't need the background. Um, it was good. I wouldn't, I wasn't very scared at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say I had more like suspense, but even then I didn't feel like I had much. Mm. Um, it has some scenes that are very, um, a little, I'd say maybe a little disturbing almost. Okay. It was almost given an NC-17 rating due to a particular scene. Yeah. But they, uh, they fought with the ratings uh, group five times to get it down to R. Wow. So They really wanted that R rating. Right. And this yeah. is the directorial debut of Akasha Stevenson. Mm -hmm. uh, Budget of thirty million. So far, it's only made twelve point four, though. Yeah. But it's only open a week, and so you never know. Yeah. This weekend coming up, we have quite a few things. Okay. We have A twenty four's Civil War. I'm 
thinking this will be pretty good. Sting, which I talked about a week ago. Mm -hmm. Arcadian and Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, which is a reimagining of 91's film of the same name. Wow. So that one looks pretty good. I'm excited for that one. Okay, and um, briefly, what's coming to streaming? Streaming tomorrow on Prime is The Exorcist Believer, so if you're looking for another horror movie, okay. there you go. Lots of great films. Right. Go check them out. I really want to see that Olivia Coleman one. You I'm should. just obsessed with her. So.